Little Giant, Big Trouble, written and told by Kiefer Adams. The summer season was in full swing on the Scarlowy Railway. Scarlowy, Reneus, Peter Sam, Rusty and Duncan were all hard at work. Mr Percival, the Thing Controller, was impressed with the efforts that the little engines were making, but he sensed that they could do with a little more help. One morning, Scar Lowy was being fired up for his morning train when Mr Percival came to see him. I've acquired a new engine from the mainland to help out during the summer period, said Mr Percival. His name is Little Giant, but he's quite a different sort of engine. You'll meet him later today. As long as he's really useful, I'll be happy to accept his help, said Scar Lowy. Mr. Percival smiled and sent the old engine on his way, but the Thing Controller had his own doubts. The Fat Controller has always told me he struggled with new arrivals in the past, he said to himself. I just hope I can deal with Little Giant. He's not like the other engines I've had on my railway. And still deep in his thoughts, the Thin Controller walked away. During the summer season, a transfer yard had been built. This was a sort of platform where the Fat Controller's engines could bring passengers and cargo to the little engines. There were two platforms, one for the standard gauge engines and the other for narrow gauge, with a steam-powered crane in between. Thomas was the first engine to test the transfer yards and was surprised to find a little yellow engine waiting but he was amazed at the engine's style. One end of the locomotive was looking around anxiously, while the other end seemed confident to be on the railway. Hello there, greeted Thomas. Who are you? We're Little Giant, boasted the confident end of the engine. We've been uh, brought here to help out over the summer, the nervous end quivered. I've never seen an engine like you before, said Thomas. No one has, said the confident end of Little Giant. We're going to prove that we're the most useful engine this railway's ever going to have. Now, if you excuse us, we've got work to do. Y yes, uh, good goodbye, stammered the nervous end. And Little Giant was off and away before Thomas could even say goodbye. Duncan and Scar Lowy were taking on coal and water at the yards. Little Giant glided in. Well, hello, greeted Scar Lowy. You must be Little Giant. The confident end of the engine smiled with a smug look on his face. Why, yes we are, he said grandly. We're here to help your railway during the summer. Aren't we? Uh, yeah, yes stammered the nervous end. Oh, we'll d d d d d do what we can. You're quite a unique engine, said Duncan. I'm actually impressed. Why, thank you, replied the confident end of Little Giant. We'll prove ourselves. We are the strongest engine ever, and we will do what we can to keep your railway going throughout the summer. Oh, uh, what, what he said, quivered the nervous end. Now then, said the confident end of Little Giant. We've got work to do. We will catch you all later. Goodbye. <coughs> and Little Giant puffed away, without even taking on coal or water. I've got a bad feeling about him, said Scar Lowy. He's worse than me, exclaimed Duncan. And for once, he was right. Later that day, Little Giant was making their way up to the coaling plant. They had been asked by the Finn Controller to collect trucks of coal and deliver them across the villages. They met Peter Sam at the junction. You must be the new engine, he said. Are you heading over to the coaling plant right now? We certainly are, my green friend, smiled the confident end of Little Giant proudly. You best be careful said Peter Sam. There are lots of trucks to deliver. We'll manage, boasted the confident end of Little Giant. Won't we, my friend? Uh, I, I, I d d d don't n n know, the nervous end quivered. Uh, how many tr 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 trucks are there? Twenty-two, replied Peter Sam. 
Can you manage them all? Shall I send another engine? You're completely fine, my lad, said the confident end of Little Giant. You just leave it to us. We'll have that train delivered in two toots of a whistle. Well, I, I w w wouldn't say th th that, the nervous end whimpered. And before Peter Sam could say anything else, Little Giant was darting up the line to the coaling plant. He's going to be in trouble. I know he will, Peter Sam said to himself. Peter Sam was right. Because Little Giant had forgotten to top up with coal and water after their encounter with Duncan and Scar Lowy, the challenge of pulling 22 loaded trucks of coal was going to be tough. Little Giant thundered and snorted up the line. The trucks clattered and groaned behind them. Steady, you two, said the driver. We aren't rushing anything. Well, that's what you think, snorted the confident end of Little Giant. I want to get this train delivered in one piece. Maybe we should have t -t 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 topped up, the nervous end called. Pah, nonsense. We've dealt with heavier trains in the past, said the confident end. And besides, we... Then there was trouble. Little Giant was just passing Tea Room Station when he found himself going slower and slower. The confident end was not willing to give up. He dug his wheels into the rails and pulled with all his might. But it was no use. Eventually, Little Giant came to a stop. The last five trucks barely passed the platform. Well, that's just great! huffed the confident end of Little Giant. I knew this would happen. You know what? If you had told me to top up with coal and water, this would not have happened. Would, would you be qu quiet? The nervous end snapped. This is all your fault. You were so high and m m mighty. Now we're stuck here. Both ends of the locomotive bickered and argued furiously. Even when Rusty arrived to take the train on, they were still arguing. They were soon kept quiet when they were greeted by Mr. Percival. Later that day, Rusty returned to the yard where the little engine slept. Duncan was on relief while Peter Sam was waiting for his next train. Oh, hello Rusty, he greeted. Where's little giant? I'm afraid he's been sent back to the other railway, said Rusty. Mr. Percival just couldn't handle him. He's not the kind of engine he didn't think would be useful for us. The nervous end of the locomotive would have been a nice addition if he was just one engine, said Peter Sam. Good riddance to the both of them, grumbled Duncan. I hope we never get an engine like that again. We might do in the future, Duncan, cautioned Rusty. You never know. Without another word, Rusty went to collect his maintenance train. Peter, Sam and Duncan looked at each other. But of course, in the far future, the narrow gauge railway did get another engine with one face at each end. And I bet you know who I'm talking about.